Hey guys, and welcome to another Veg Inspired video. Today, we're talking cruelty-free beauty. This morning, I went ahead and took off my eye makeup with Beauty Without Cruelty Eye Makeup Remover. I washed my face with this Kiss My Face Potent and Pure Startup Exfoliating Face Wash. Now we're gonna do a little bit of eye repair cream. So what I love about an eye cream is that it's formulated specifically for the areas around your eyes. So you use it on your ring finger, you just kind of tap them together, and then... Next, some Dreamy Youth by Pacifica. This is my favorite day and night face cream. I give myself a little squirt, and then it goes all over my face. This does not have an SPF. For SPF, I use uh, Kiss My Face sunscreen. Next, we have the Vegan Mineral Fusion Concealer Duo. So I always use a brush. I also like to use the darker of the two on my upper lid. So you give it a nice blend. The next product in my routine is my Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Powder Foundation. Just get a little on the brush, tell you to give it a tap that way, and then I learned to tap the brush this way to get it into the brush. I like to think of it as polishing your face. Okay, so now we are ready for the color. So what I'd like to show you first is for hydrating my lips, I use Hurrah. Uh, my favorite flavor right now is root beer. So you just, they do have cinnamon and I think it's cranberry that is tinted, which is awesome. This is the first vegan lip product that hasn't broken out my lips. The next product in my routine is my Too Faced blush. It is like a blush and a bronzer. For this, I use a big poofy blush brush. Now I was a, sales director with a major cosmetics company. Um, they do test on animals, so I'm no longer affiliated, but I learned a lot from them, so I'll show you a little trick on uh, contouring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up and down, so you can kind of see that there's a little bit there. Then we'll do the other side. Gives it the appearance that you have really high cheekbones when you don't. Gives a little contour, so that's that. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I didn't ever do my eyebrows before, and then I got this awesome Imani brow and liner package from my Vegan Cuts box. It's a light brown, a dark brown, and a black. A little bit on my pointed brush. You go backwards, and then you go the right way. I do have a an eyebrow brush. I didn't grab it before I came out here. So then I always like to take my powder and just kind of give it a go. Next is eyeliner. I use eyeliner before I do my eyeshadow, um, and I have a, a trick. So I use my black Pacifica eyeliner on the top. And I blend with my finger. I 
and bring it to the corner. And then the trick is I use their Pacifica's dark brown on the bottom. So what it does is it gives that great shadowy look without the um, intensity of the black. I know, um, you know, when I was a little bit younger, the black worked, but now the brown is perfect. It's subtle enough, but there is some eyeliner on there. Next, my new favorite, I contacted Lamora Beauty to see if they were vegan, and they did email me back and tell me that they were vegan and cruelty free. So this is the inside. It always makes me happy. Be your own kind of beautiful. So makeup and eyeshadows are my thing. Now I'm gonna go for a really natural look. So I'm gonna use their cream color. And I'm gonna do all over. Well, I'll show you. I'm gonna do right here along the front. Along the lower lid. Then I'm gonna go up and highlight right under my brow. So then I'm gonna take, let's see, today I'm kind of feeling the Wish color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I always blow off the excess of the dark because once you get it on there, you have to wash it all off or blend a lot. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my crease and I'm gonna open my eye and I'm just gonna drag it across. How easy is that? So I'm gonna do it again on the side. I'm gonna find my crease and I'm gonna drag it across. So you're just putting that darker shadow right in your crease. Now again, when I say a natural look, this is a natural look for me. You might want a lighter color. Satin would be really pretty, idle would work, even metal. Metal would be cool, the gun metal. You guys probably can't even see what I'm talking about. Satin, idle, and metal, those would be good for your crease. Um, something like bronze. Just depends on your, your palette. Um, like I said, this is the natural for me. And then I'm gonna take a little espresso and I'm just gonna do a little V in the corner. So a little bit of this dark espresso color. Just as a little V in the corner. Just a little bit. So if you watched my very first video, Pittsburgh Taco Truck, uh, Vegan Finds, Vegan Mascara, and Saturday Fun Adventures, um, you saw me try for the first time my Beauty Without Cruelty Mascara. Um, so an update on that, the mascara that I bought from Beauty Without Cruelty is fantastic. It does an excellent job um, coating my lashes and giving me that look that I was going for. However, it is not waterproof or water resistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on. Again, it is the Beauty Without Cruelty Full Volume Mascara. There you have it. A quick, natural, and cruelty-free look just for, you know, Whatever, work, date night, you could darken it up a little bit. These are my current favorite beauty products. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I explore other beauty products. When we made the transition to veganism and living a vegan lifestyle, I needed to replace all of my non-vegan and non-cruelty-free products. And it's been a three-year adventure trying to find the things that worked best for me, that gave me the results that I was looking for. And I'd have to say the the array of beauty products that I use now, I'm really happy. I'm happy with this look. I'm happy with the quality of the products. So I will link all of these below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and until next time, live veg inspired.